please introduce yourself for the new people. Okay, uh, I am Jose Manuel Sanchez Vizcaino. I am from Spain. I work by uh, the OIE and at the University Complutense of Madrid. And uh, I work on ASF since the last 40 years. So quite a long time. Today you've been to the border of South Korea and you saw the fences and everything from North Korea. How, how, how was it? I think uh, in the area that I saw it, even in this area that was not the, the deep one, uh, I think the animals can cross easily mm. because there are many little isol like isol isolate mm. areas that they can swim. So, but I, I agree that probably they can come but not pass the double fence. So I don't think that could be a direct contact mm. between North and South Korean wild boar. But indirect contact, I am sure there is. And what can be the most dangerous species? Well, I, I think the most dangerous are wild boar because it's the only that have the virus. But wild boar itself is difficult to imagine that they can cross yeah, the, the so double. So. so I have to think in other kind of vectors mm. that can be mechanic. <coughs> mechanic. So when the, when the wild boar die, they can pass some part of the animals, of the blood, of tissue. So in that case, there are many. There are birds, quite a few. There are rodents and there are flies. They are the, the three most mm. important. I think uh, if you want to protect your farms, yes. the most important is protected of the wild boar. Mm. That's the most important. And this is by double fence is enough to protect it. But also you have to be sure that there is no carcass around the area. So you have to survive and, and, you know, pay like we do in Europe. We pay for the people that find a car case oh. to tell us. And this is very, very useful. The people go and well, work. How much do you pay? 50 euros. 50, 50 euros. euros. 50 mm. euros. So that is uh, important to not have car case. Why? Because car case can be indirect, contaminated by flies, for example. The other thing is to put net in the, in the farms, especially in summer. Mm like the mosquitoes, the mosquito neck, so the, the flies cannot go in. I, inside of the farm, some electrical machine that kill the, the flies. I think that is quite enough. Mm. So you believe that even though, even viruses outside of the farm, if you do the good biosecurity in the farm, yeah, the, everything you, will be fine. Absolutely, mm. yeah, absolutely. Many people are wondering about Czech Republic, how they eradicate ASF from their country. Yeah. Could you please briefly explain about yeah. that? Yeah, they divided the area of the Czech Republic, the Czech Republic in three sections, and so they, they were uh, doing different actions. The first action is in the, in the very, very hot area. They don't allow anybody to shoot in or make hunting or whatever. Only professional people was taking care of that. So they was using fence and shooting animals, clean all the area and just starting to do that. And the second circle, that is a 10 kilometer more, and that situation, they do very, very similar one. And only in the outside area is when they left the people to increase the hunting, regular hunting people. And so the system was uh, quite work. It's working very well. And on very relatively very short period of time, they became free, totally free of wild boar infected. Mm. So what's a very good system? We recommend it mm. to do similar things here. So you're, you also mentioned that the hunter, the professional hunter should be hunt the wild boar to reduce the yeah, risk. Yeah, it's, uh, it's very important to, to ask for the collaboration of the professional hunters because, for many reasons. One, because they work on the, on the countryside and they can find carcass mm. and, and they have to, to tell us because the carcass are very important as a contaminated product. So that is very important that they collaborate with us to remove the carcass and or tell uh, the authorities that the carcass is localized in, in any place. The second one is that they also help us to reduce the animals, the populations, and they also are very well training to to not contaminate the area. And I think they are doing a good job. What kinds of training do they need? To know two things that are important. 
ones that blood is terribly danger, and wherever blood is, they have to disinfect it. And also, the other important thing is don't, don't leave any other things related with the animals. So if the animal die and they cannot remove the carcass, they have to make a big hole and bear, bear the animals very deep. Because, you know, other animals are going to eat it. And, and one carcass can infect many other. So it's very good to finish with that. Usually wild boar, eaten by, after they die, die eaten by... Yeah. yeah, they are very common. It's a very common thing. That's why we are very worried about left carcass on the, on the countryside because they are contaminating many other. So it's a very source, it's a source of contamination. What could be the secondary uh, transmission vector? What was the... I, I think the humans, the human. human, human mistakes. Human by vehicles that was not clean or disinfected, by driver that has been walking an uninfected farm, later they take the car and go to another place. Uh, these two are the most common, you know, vehicles not well cleaned and disinfected, and people that was walking, and later they went to other places. Do you think river can infect other animals? The river? You mean the water? Yeah, water. <laughs> I don't think so. The dilution of one river is unbelievable. So it's... I don't think so. I really don't think so, because uh, the concentration of virus in one river is, is relatively low, and the dilution is very high. So it's, it's difficult to, to believe that that can happen. Right. Okay. Even though there is a river between North Korea and South Korea. I know, I know. So. I, I saw it, I saw it. Mm. Yes. Always the people ask me, how is the vaccine? Uh, for ASF and I have to tell you the vaccine is in progress. We have already finished the experiments of protection and we are working on the experiments of safety. Uh, these are going to take a long time because all the safety experiments have to be done in vivo but so far they look good. So we hope that this vaccine can be someday not a prototype but a real vaccine. When is the second question? I don't think that before two years. That's it. So, I am sure you're going to finish with the disease before that. Bye.